Hello all. So in my previous video, we have learned how to set the environment for GUI development using JavaFX and VS Code Editor. That's a two time taking process to compile and run the code. For previous video, you can see the link in description. So in this video, we are going to make some changes in the configuration of the setup. So follow me as I am doing here. Open VS Code from any folder of your choice. I have chosen an empty folder named MY on my desktop. These are the extensions to be installed before the start of the setup. These all are under a single package of extensions, named Java Extension Pack, developed by Microsoft. After this, open Command Palette, and search for Java Create Java Project. After that select No Build Tools among the five given options. It will ask for the location of the project, and then the name of the project, I have given app as the name of the project. And another VS Code window will open while the extensions are working in background. Close the previous one. You can see the whole hierarchy of our project with lib folder and .vs code. Our file app.java is present within the src folder with a hello world program. I am here just testing the extensions, by clicking the run button above. As you can see that the code is compiled and running successfully. Now importing the jar files is necessary for the editor to recognize the javafx keywords. Go to the javafx folder and select all jar files present in the lib folder. This will import all the jar files to our project. This is very important step in the whole procedure of setting up the environment. Now copy any javafx code of your choice and paste in the app.java file. I am using this github link, where you can find my simple code. Now, go to command palette and type launch.json. You can see the json file corresponding to our setup, after clicking on debug open launch.json. You can see some object notations here. For sample case, let's run the code. It will show some errors, stating javafx runtime components are missing and are required to run this application. This is because we haven't make any changes in the launch.json file. Now, go to the json file and type the displayed line in the configuration notation as I am doing. The location must be pointing to javafx lib directory. The location is copied and pasted at the location where I am doing so. There must be double forward slashes in the path of location, as this is the representation in json files. Now run the code after saving both files. So here it is. You can see that the code, you can see that the code runs successfully only with a single click. So compared to the previous video, this is a bit efficient and no need to type the whole lines in the terminal to compile and run the code that I have shown. Thank you guys. A special thanks to my previous video viewer who made suggestions and gave reference to complete this process of simplifying the previous method. Thanks a lot.